Hey, what's going on? This is Andre Sweeney, the Life Specialist. Welcome to the Give It Life Show, the show that gives you the tools and principles necessary for an outstanding life. Today's segment is called Life Nuggets, and today I want to introduce a new segment to the Give It Life family, and that segment is called Marriage for Life. Listen, I'm a happily married man, and I want to do all I can to help married couples to stay married for life. We live in a country that has over a 50% divorce rate. And then the church is even higher than that. And I want to help your marriage to succeed. Now listen, this segment is for married couples. I define that as a male and a female getting married. No, I do not believe in gay marriages, lesbian marriages, or anything of the sort. If you don't like that, you ought to know by my show, I really don't care. When it comes to my convictions, I'm straight up and down, and I must tell the truth. So this, this, this show is for married couples, male and female, or people who would like to be married, male and female, in the future. So that being said, let's get started. This is part one, and today I want to talk about vision retreats. This is an awesome Awesome idea. A vision retreat is an opportunity for a husband and wife to go away by themselves and set the vision for their marriage and their family. Now, this should actually have been done already before you said I do, but you know, many people didn't get this idea or get this revelation in time. So, hey, once you know better, you do better, right? All right, so this is what happens essentially. You leave your children at home, you leave the mother-in-law at home, you bring no family, you pick a designated place where you can go and get away. This place should be a place where you can get some work done, but also have a little fun. You don't want too many distractions. I don't suggest you go to Disney World uh, for, your, for your vision retreat, but do go somewhere where you can have some fun also. Now here's what happens. You get to the hotel, check in. Guys, have a nice meal. Go to sleep. Okay? Go to sleep so you can get up early in the morning. And what happens is you begin to write your vision and make it plain, as the Bible says. My bishop also says, unless it's in black and white, it does not exist. We do not tend to follow up on things that's not written. So you want to have everything written down. And what you want to do is begin to set the vision for where you want your marriage to be. You want to begin to write your goals for 5 years, 10 years, 20 years down the road. Where do you see yourself retiring one day? Where do you see yourself as an older couple, a senior citizen couple? You want to begin to write your vision. You want to begin to talk about your finances. Most marriages are destroyed because of finances. So you want to begin to talk about how are we going to pay these bills? What type of investments are we going to invest in? Uh, what kind of retirement plan do we have? Do we go into real estate? Uh, do I change my job? All those things need to be discussed. You need to talk about your goals for your children. If you have small children, how are we going to raise them? What direction are we going to take in? Uh, how do we plan for college? Those sorts of things. You want to begin to talk about specific issues like communication. How are we talking? Most importantly, how are we listening? You want to talk about things like sex. <clears throat> What's our love life like? Are we having enough sex? What turns me off about you? What turns me on? You want to begin to tackle all of these issues because these issues are the core foundational issues that make your marriage either successful or not successful. So you want to talk about each and everything in detail and map them out. Take a break for lunch. I suggest you get up and start your day about 7, 7 uh, a.m., have a little breakfast about 7.30, get into your vision planning, and then around noon, take a break for lunch, come back around, let's say, 1.30, and begin to hit it again hard until, uh, let's say, dinner time, you take a, a, a break for dinner, and then you're done planning for the day. You go back to the hotel, and you do something fun. Plan out something nice for that night. Go out to a movie. Hold hands and take a long walk on the beach, stare into each other's eyes, uh, read uh, some nice poetry to each other, and when you get back to the hotel, make love to each other. 
Yeah, I'm not trying to be perverted, but sex was meant for married people. Go back and become intimate. Hold each other. Lay on the bed and talk to each other. Get back to get back to that point to your first love, to when you when you first fell in love with that person. Begin to bring that energy back to loving each other again. Have a good night's sleep. Get up and do it all over again. I think a good vision retreat should be at least three days. Maybe more depending on how much how many issues you have. It's not a vacation. It's not meant for you just to go and be running all over and not and not taking care of the business necessary for a great marriage. But it is a place where you want to be able to go and relax. I believe that if every marriage was to have a vision retreat, it would increase the success probability of your marriage a thousandfold. I just believe the Bible says that in all thy getting, get an understanding. It's hard to fight when there's understanding. It's hard to break up when you have understanding. And that is what the vision retreat will do. Lay your cards on the table. Be honest. Don't hold back. Say things in love, but confront the issue. All right? This is Andre Sweeney, the life specialist. I want to help you stay married for life. And I want to help you to get a life.